I'm in the darkness. Let's go to bed. Aww. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Let's just, uh, go around. Let's, uh, is, is Toriel downstairs, actually? There are books that are worn. They must have been read many times. Oh. Yeah, let's not go down there. Ta-da! Mmm, no. Ah, you're in here. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am that you have to have someone here. There's just so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared your a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? It's nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. It's just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. It's a history book. There's a random page. Trapped beneath the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home! As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. That's funny. <laughs> Safety proof pokers. Oh, hey. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboards are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Torio must use fire magic instead. Yeah, whenever I use fire magic, my freaking uh, fire alarm goes off. Let's uh, let's check out the uh, creepy bay. Actually, let's t t check out this thing. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Oh. Yeah, let's go check out the creepy basement. Oh my gosh! I think you should play upstairs instead. Uh, okay. You no, know what? No, I'm gonna talk to you about this. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Toriel... How do I get out of the runes? Uh, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes slip their digestive systems as they mature? Is, is that actually a fact? Uh, is that actually a, flat, uh, a fact? Interesting. No, no, seriously, is that actually a fact? How do I get out of the rooms? I have to do something, stay here. Seems like the right size for Toriel. <sighs> something tells me she's in that basement. to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the runes. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, 
If you leave the runes, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like all the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Entering the fight with Toriel, the boss of the runes. Bet you didn't see this coming the first time you fought her. Toriel blocks the way. We're gonna try and talk her out of this. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. And she's not kidding around! She is... She is actually pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to think of something to say again, but... Oh my gosh, yeah, she is not a pushover! Now, we could fight her, yes. We could, but we are trying to do this the, the legit way. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Yes, some bosses you cannot talk your way out of. Toriel is one of those bosses. Okay. Oh, here we go. Torio's acting aloof. This music is actually pretty good. She's preparing a magical attack! No! Screw your magical fire! Screw your fire! Oh gosh. What are you doing? I'm trying to survive! Oh my gosh! Attack or run away? No. I am not running away, but I am not killing you either. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that you can't... You don't need violence, like you so... You, you just think you need violence. Fight me or leave. Oh, oh balls. I think I've gotten most of her attacks down. Stop it. Uh, except for these. Nope. Okay. Stop looking me that way. Um... No, I think I can do this. Go away. Oh, I don't think I can do this enemy- Wait, that just stopped? Oh! Alright. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The runes are very small once you get used to them. 
It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. That's some, uh, wow, some hard stuff. Now, you can do more in the fight, especially when you're trying to spare her. There is something else you can do. Again, I'm going to be saving all the little things for the bonus videos. So, with that, let's continue and get out of here. Holy crap, not since Mother have I seen a room that long. Clever. Very clever. Oh boy, it's creepy Mc... Ugh. Creepy McFlowerton. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules. He has spared the life of a single person. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die. And you'll die. And you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> so! We have our main antagonist. Flowey the Flower. Yeah, it's... That's weird, but Flowey plans on inheriting everything in this world, and it's up to us to just get out of here. Honestly, we don't really care, but Flowey does seem like the antagonist so far. Let's actually, let's actually continue, you know. Yeah, that was just the tutorial level. Get it? Toriel? Oh, Toby Fox, please. So, here we are, in the underground, with trees. Yeah, the underground is a very special word. So it just seems like we're in a dense forest of snow and everything. Sorry, what? Oh, okay, let's get out of here! Just, uh, just keep walking. Just keep walking. Just, just keep walking! Just keep walking! There are no shadow people after us! There are no shadow people after us! Scooby-Doo! Where are you? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoop cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans, 
Sansa Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Oh my gosh. Please. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning! Hmm, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You're not helping! You lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work to do. A uh, skeleton? Oh my gosh. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, but I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone! Oh my gosh. Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more Macmoan into it! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. Now, um, you may have, you may have just shared a special bond with me because that is my favorite two characters of the whole dang game. Y'all get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I love, I love Sans and Papyrus. Oh my gosh, Sans is just meh, whatever. Just, uh, do stuff. Hey! Heh. <laughs> well, you wanna hear a joke? And then Papyrus is like, Yeah! I'm gonna capture humans! It's like, it's polar opposite, and I love it. It's some sort of checkpoint, or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make it stay. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. And with that... Take it in. Listen to it. This... This is one of my favorite songs in the game. Oh my gosh. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Uh, this is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. So this is actually interesting. You can put stuff in boxes, like the tough glove, and no matter what, you'll find a box later and you can put them in. We're gonna put in the butterscotch pie, the bandage, the donut. Yeah, and... We're gonna take out the tough glove. And we're going to equip it. Equipping offensive items don't really do too much since we're not fighting per se. But sometimes they do have passive effects. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. 
Let's see what's up here, bro. Oh! Snowdrake flutters forth! Let's joke with Snow uh, Flake. Let's, uh. Let's laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says something funny. What are you do? Laugh? What are you laughing at? Ah! It's no name, it's a pun, and freaked out. Ah, uh, Snow Drake, Dragon, Drake, Drake, let's heckle it. You booze, Snow Drake. Oh, it insults me. Oh, get it. Oh, uh, what? Assessing the crowd, let's, uh, let's joke. We had a bad ice fun. Nice try. I'm not gonna fall for the same trick again. I didn't even need to. Uh, let's check it. Attack 12, 7 defense. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Ice puns are... Snow problems. That was actually okay. Oh gosh dang it. Uh, let's laugh at it, Stu. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, Snowdrake. I, I didn't mean to give you the cold shoulder. Sorry. M my heart is full of ice. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I promise I'll stop. I promise I'll stop these cool pun- I'm, I'm sorry. Let let's just- it's a fishing rod fixed to the ground, reel it in! Sure. Attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me! For a good to- okay, no. <laughs> you decide not to call. And with that, we're gonna end things off here, next to the fishing pole. So until then guys, until then, I will see you guys then.